the Elks Club. Oh, have a big building. Size church. Rome City Hall. The Zion Church. I always like this church, just the architectural style. Rome City Hall. Pretty big. St. Mary's. St. Mary's Church. What's this? This used to be the old BOCES, now it's a uh, Wellness Institute. made a park in the city so the taxpayers would always have to take care of it. Personally, if I was the mayor of Rome, New York, I would tear down that park on Liberty Street. <laughs> I mean, it's good real estate. I'm sure there's a lot of entrepreneurs that would want to buy that spot. <laughs> A car wash. Rome's got more car washes than Utica, New York. This building's been here forever. Apartments. I just like it because it's made out of brick. I'm waiting for the city to tear this down. It's a nightmare. I think I'm on wide field view. Fran Fumara. It's a tax service. Uh, Kazu Street. Big house. It's nice houses. Like that house. That's big house. Expense Street. Huh. Huh. Bus monitor. Huh. That's a nice house. I didn't realize it was 90 degrees outside. Bumpy. 
upstairs. I need a gimbal. If I had a gimbal, I wouldn't have any camera bounce. This is Gansevoort. I used to clean Gansevoort school. Used to. It's a small school, but let me tell you, for one person to clean it, oof. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. This is Liberty Garden Apartments. I got a video of Liberty Gardens. Hey. I see they're busy spray painting up here too. That's a nice apartment complex. Management keeps it up pretty nice. They found it. He was looking for Stewart's, the Harley Davidson man. <laughs> I said to him, go down North James Street, take a right on Erie Boulevard, and follow it. <laughs> and you'll see Stewart's on your right, eventually. He found it. <sighs> I always like this part of Liberty Street. Look at that tree. I'm surprised the wind hasn't knocked it down. I'd put a big tree in my yard, but I'm sure I would have problems with pipes and electrical. Oh, and the city would probably cut it down. The Jeep dealer. I say that because he's always got new Jeep. Hey, where's the birch tree? <laughs> Must be they cut it down. <laughs> Must be the wind that finally got it. They used to have a couple birch trees for. <laughs> I don't know, three, four decades at that house. I was amazed that the wind never knocked them down. Well, that idiot deserves a ticket, you think? That's the problem with this end of Liberty Street. Cars are always rocketing up and down on it. Have a cop car sit right in here at the cemetery. <laughs> they could hand out a shitload of tickets. But people would say, oh, the cop was hiding. Well, maybe if you weren't fucking speeding, F-bomb alert, <laughs> you wouldn't get a ticket. This is one of my favorite cemeteries. Pretty nice. Liberty Street. But traffic is always rocketing up and down this road. Especially the rush hour times, it's horrible. I guess 30 miles an hour means 50. 
I was going to get out like at 11 a.m., but then I found things to do inside the house. And before I knew it, it was 3 p.m. I'm like, it's a light. Part of the concrete company below the ridge. And a nice clear day with no haze or fog. You can see the windmills. That would be looking south, southward. And from this hill on a clear night, you can actually see the Tower Hotel at the Turning Stone Casino. Huh. One time I was wondering what the hell the bright LED neon lights were. And then I realized, oh, it's the hotel. This is a Lowe's department store. Lowe's Home Improvement. I don't really shop there. And I tried not to shop there. School bus. Sometimes I don't know who's worse, the drivers of cars and trucks or the drivers of school buses. <laughs> They're both about equally bad. People always comment that Rome, New York has really bad roads. Well, I'll agree to that, but the reason why Rome has bad roads is because of the weather. Temperature fluctuations, it's hot, it's cold, it's uh, 62 degrees out right now, and by nighttime it'll be, you know, in the upper 30s. All that affects the roads. Maybe in the future they'll use material that doesn't get affected by the weather, but... That's Erie Boulevard out there. Uh, Gifford Road. Gifford Road is pretty nice road. I don't have any money in this bank, but we're going to take out a loan. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I imagine that's another car wash. There's one right there. Uh, bottle deposit. Rome's actually got two bottle deposit businesses. I don't know how they survive. Something going in there, they tore it all down. That's the intersection of uh, Erie Boulevard and Rome New London Road. Fast track. Uh, that's where the Erie Canal Trail begins. Fuji restaurant. Good Japanese food. I like the Fuji restaurant. Not something you want to eat all the time, but they got decent food. They've been there quite a while. Uh, runnings. And personally, I think that's about the only store in that strip mall is Runnings. <laughs> kind of sad.
Look at that gates. Honkers. Honk honk. Honk honk. Uh, just ignore me. I'm used to it. Everybody else ignores me. Car wash. Like I said, I can't have enough car washes. I guess it's environmentally insane to wash your car at home using a garden hose and a bucket and a little bit of soap. Nowadays, you got to take your car to a car wash. I love that flag. I'm a patriot. Not afraid to say it either. I know these days with progressives, if you're a patriot, you're a racist. If you're a patriot, you're, I don't know, somehow against the government. I don't know how Democrats started that campaign, but that's what they got everybody pretty much believing in. If you call yourself a patriot, you're a racist. <laughs> That's pretty sad. I guess I'm a racist. Hmm. Greg Ellinger, he's been in Rome forever. Giovanni Motors. I like the Ford. Really subtle color. I like bright colors, but on a vehicle, just a nice gray. Couldn't figure out what the hell she was waiting for. <sighs> my once a month trip to Walmart <laughs> and believe me it takes a lot of energy and a lot of motivation for me to pedal my ass to Walmart not that it's far it's just a headache put the grocery cart back. Uh, smoke shop very bumpy I don't know why they don't fix this parking lot. I mean, it's been like this for years. One day when somebody does some severe damage to their car, they'll actually fix it. Hmm. The potholes along there are deep. <laughs> Some of these people, they sit in their cars in these parking lots for hours. I don't know if they're high on drugs or if they just have, I don't know, head problems and they don't know what the hell they're doing with life. Huh. 